And although a lot of Patriots fans were upset, it seemed like Jacoby was upset too. So we saw he quote tweeted when the Patriots announced that they were going to be signing Juju. He quote tweeted that announcement and said, cold world, LOL. And um, I think it mostly came from the timing of the signing, but also the contract. So Juju also got a three-year, $33 million contract. And at first that seemed kind of crazy because you wouldn't re-sign Jacoby maybe because of the contract that he wanted. And then you gave the next guy the exact same contract. But when further details came out about Juju's contract, there was a significant difference between his and Meyer. So as I said, Jacoby is getting 21 million in guarantees. Juju is only set to make 16 million in guarantees. So although that's not like a significant, like a humongous difference, I mean, it's still $5 million. That's quite a bit of money. And so that seems like that might be a leading cause to why they let Myers go. But then there also might be other reasons that fans don't want to acknowledge, fans don't know. I mean, as much as we loved him and wanted to stay in New England, I mean, Belichick is going to know more than we do. So maybe there's a different reason. I don't know. Maybe there's a bigger plan in place. They seem to be making moves that's, that make it appear as if they have a bigger um plan in place what that is i don't know but i'm hoping that we're gonna get some news about that soon because uh i'm i'm getting a little i'm getting a little antsy if we're being honest so um because of his comments myers was asked about that in his introductory press conference to the las vegas media they asked him just straight up what was your tweet about were you upset did things end badly whatnot and he said I just like messing with people. I just like getting under people's skin. But honestly, I appreciate them for everything that I've been through there. I never really got to say, well, I did get to say goodbye, but I never really got to tell them bye as I was leaving the building. That was just me being childish for real, but I love them, but I'm also happy to be here. So I, I'm i sure part of it was, you know, um, a quick reaction because he was upset that he wasn't brought back to a team that he felt like he had proven himself on maybe a team that he wanted to stay on. I would assume that he probably wanted to stay there. And then maybe once he saw more of the details and the differences between their their contracts, he changed his tune a bit. Or maybe he just didn't want to have people continuously talking about, you know, him seeing bitter or whatnot. I don't know. It doesn't seem to be in my eyes that's that, you know, the type of person that he is. I think that I I don't blame him for being upset. So um definitely nice to see that clarity it's gonna really be weird next season it's always weird when players who have been around for even just you know three four years when they end up leaving it's it's we're definitely in that in that ground right now where there's a lot of changes going on and next season's going to be crazy different I think it's kind of probably what we're going to deal with in 2021 or what we dealt with in 2021 where there's all those um gigantic signings in the off season. It seems like we're definitely in in that mix again for 2023.